Hi, YouTubers and WebSavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. That's Mark Zeredi with GeorgeTune.com. A lot of you uh, inquired about how I pronounce my last name. You've probably seen it on my comic strip over at my blog, Mark Zeredi. Anyhow, Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This time around, we're going to be shaving with Global Shave Club International's brand new razor offering, the Espresso. This is a Nordic brass twist to open safety razor made completely of brass really very very nice sheldon quinn who has this great entrepreneurial spirit is introducing wet shaving products to traditional wet shavers uh, and he's getting into it in a big way um, you might know him from 30blades.com i review that a product that he has it's a cartridge razor with comes with it comes with um how many 30 cartridges it's about a year's worth of shaving with a cartridge razor for only 12 bucks. Really neat uh, offer there. Um, but he's getting into traditional wet shaving in a very big way. Not only does he have this razor, he also has this one called the Americano. The Americano is a gunmetal and gold uh, color scheme. Really very, very nice. He also has the Espresso, which is solid brass. He has another one called the Latte. They're all part of the Java series of wet shave products for men. And the uh, pricing is really nice. Looks like it's going to be under $30. And I can tell you right now, this is uh, just, has just come out. I think they're going to have a couple of improvements to it. Um, one is going to be a little detent catch, so you can vary the aggression. Uh, the first step will lock in place, it'll be a little more aggressive, and then when you get another eighth, eighth of a turn, it'll become a little more mild, or vice versa. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that's planned for this as, all, as well. This is a, um, uh, a new release, a sample, so to speak, and it's going to be every bit uh, as similar to the one that's going to go into production. Um, plus that added feature, which I really wish that had had it on this because I really wanted to try that. But we're going to go ahead and give this a try. This is very reminiscent of the Gillette Super Speed. It's my late father's Gillette Super Speed. And uh, right here, the Gillette Super Speed. And of course, this is the Espresso. And you can see about the same size, same configuration of the head. It really has a smooth mechanism. We're also going to use a Persona blade, Persona Blue blade. I already have that loaded in there, ready to go. We're going to be using Tabak shaving soap. Got some hot water on top of the puck to soften it up a little bit. Going to use my AMAC Game Changer shaving brush. And um, going to finish up with Panade Clubman and a little bit of Wild Country Aftershave Balm. So I guess we're all set. I'm really excited to try this razor because it really is a very handsome masculine razor. Absolutely no doubt about that. It has nice weight, about 2.2 ounces. Uh, nice length to the handle. Feels great. Nice knurling. The fact that it's brass also has titanium inner workings in the mechanism there. So this spells long lasting. Also comes with a lifetime warranty. So that adds up to a really good value. So we're going to give it a try, see how it shaves. So let's wet the face a little bit. Again, I'm using Tabak right there. I'm going to pour off that excess water. I'm going to get my brush here and I'm just going to squeeze off a little bit here, maybe a little bit of a shake. And we're going to go ahead and load the brush up on our journey to build a really nice lab. And I love the scent of Tabak. Really nice. Old school barber shop scent. Really very, very nice. And uh, <clears throat> Sheldon tells me that Global Shave Club International also has uh, a shaving soap coming out. It's a coffee scented shaving soap. So I'm really, really excited to sample that one too. Um, Really impressed with his entrepreneurial spirit. Really going after this market and offering a lot of wet shavers um, some really nice products. And that's great. I really like that. It's great to see that entrepreneurial spirit across the entire range of wet shave products. That's why I like people like Vikings Blade, Maggards, West Coast Shaving. Who else is out there? Wet the Face, you know, 
people like this. They really are doing some great things for the traditional wet shave market. It's exploding, it really is. Heck, even AMAC brushes, AP Shaving Company, a lot of, a lot of really, really dedicated people out there bringing some really nice product to market for the traditional wet shave. Boy, that's nice. I'm going to put a little bit of water on that brush just to give a little more moisture there. Oh, boy, is that good. And I got some nice beard growth. I did not shave this morning. So I'm kind of playing catch up here, but that's okay because I got enough beard growth here to really give this razor a good test. Okay, and sorry about that, but I got a big nose. I'll try to avoid that in the future. Okay, a lot of good lather. I'm gonna heat up my espresso razor. Both sides, give a little swirl. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. I can tell you right now, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Very nice. Blade seems to be evenly balanced on both sides. I'm just checking it right now. It sure does feel that way. It sure does look that way and also feel that way. So alignment seems to be very good. Okay. All right, that's my first pass down. Let's rinse. Well, that was a good first pass. And again, the first pass is going to knock it down. You're going to have to do a second pass to really get an understanding of how good the razor is. But I will say that uh, on the information sheet that he gave me, he's comparing this razor to the Merker HD34C, the Edwin Jagger, uh, DE 89, and I believe, hang on one minute. Yeah, it's the Parker 99R. Yeah, Parker 99R. So that's what he's comparing to. Now, I've used two out of three of those. I don't have a Parker. But I can tell you that this is more efficient than the uh, uh, Merker HD 34C much more efficient. It is a mild, it's a mild shave, but it's more efficient than, than the, uh, than the Mercur, definitely. And I would say, well, you know what, let me hold that thought until I get to the second, end of the second pass here. And I'll be able to tell you a little more. I'll be able to know, I'll be able to judge a little more closely. How it, how it stacks up with those 
with both of those razors. But I can tell you right now, more efficient on that first pass than the Merker HD 34C. And it is a mild razor. This is a mild razor. No doubt about it. And that's nice. I, I think it's, it's nice. Not overly aggressive. Gives you a nice mild shape. Very, very reminiscent of the Gillette Super Speed. Very reminiscent of that. And, and it appears to be well made, so it's going to last a lifetime. Gives you a lifetime warranty. Okay, so here we go. Pass number two. Here we go east to west across the grain. Pass number two done. Let's rinse. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm about ready for the office. It is a mild razor. It really is. It's, like I say, it's more efficient than the HD34C, the Merker HD34C. Um, it is probably right up there with the Edwin Jagger, no doubt about it. Um, I probably will need a third pass, just as I do with those other razors. Uh, I could probably get by with just a touch-up, and then I'm good for the office. But I would say for sure that uh, this is every bit as good as an Edwin Jagger. Every bit as good as that. And I would say it's much more efficient than the Merker HD34C. No doubt. And it's solid brass. Solid brass. That's what's nice. That's what's really nice. Got titanium inner workings. I mean, it's going to last a long time. That's why he's able to get a life, lifetime warranty. Nice. Very, very nice. So I would say that... I would say if it came... If this one had that mechanical detent, that mechanical catch that is being planned for the production models because this is a pre-production model that he sent me. He reached out to me and asked me if I would review it and I said, sure, I'd love to. Um, and it is really a terrific shave so far. But I'm saying the mechanical catch, that detent, as they call it, will uh, vary the gap, the blade gap, uh, between one and two. One would be a little more aggressive, two would be on the mild side. That would be uh, that would be great because I would probably do two passes at the little more aggressive setting and that third pass at the mild setting. That's brilliant. I mean, that's absolutely brilliant. I would love to have that um, in a razor. Just be, you know, I've got I've got adjustable razors, but just to have that variable uh, two-stage uh, quality within the razor 
to where you get a little more aggressive and then you can back it off and be a little more mild. That's terrific. Really, that really is. And I believe his razors, the espresso, the Americano, and I also believe the latte is going to have that feature. Wow, really nice, really, really nice. So we're gonna go uh, south to north against the grain and clean up here. Right in here, it was just smooth. Didn't need to really go over that area. Really got it on the first two passes. That's nice. Okay, third pass done. Let's rinse. All right, let's drain the sink. Let's do my final two rinses, warm and cold right from the tap. Here is my warm water rinse. All right, we're going over to cold water now. Tabak is slick, it took me a while to get most of that off of there. Nice, fresh, clean towel waiting for me. Oh boy. Oh boy, is that good. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, so we're gonna finish it off with some Panade Clubman. Boy, I'm getting down there, aren't I? It's okay, I got a brand new bottle waiting in the wings. All right, get some feedback, see how the shade was. Nice, nice, a little bit of feedback. A little bit of feedback, but not overwhelmingly with a big sting. Nice. It's got like a little zing to it, which is really very nice, which tells me I had a nice, mild, efficient shave. Really? Yeah. Nice. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Let's use a little bit of uh, Wild Country here. Show that to you. Wild Country. Okay. A little bit upstairs. <sighs> Great shave. Really nice shave. I'm really very impressed by this razor. This razor, not only is it handsome, it's solid brass. I mean, it's brass right here. Nice mild shave. Nice weight, really nice balance. No nicks, no cuts. Uh, this is terrific. This is really, I mean, and look how nice that looks. It's, it's brass. Now I have a fully brass razor in the Global Shave Club International's Espresso Razor. Uh, are you looking for a brass razor? A full brass razor with no plating, just brass? This is the one to get. This is really, really nice. And again, it's got that classic Gillette Super Speed look. I don't know, maybe your father or grandfather had a Gillette Super Speed and it got lost or accidentally thrown out. Well, you know what? Now you can get one of these and start your own tradition. Lifetime warranty. Really a nice, nice razor. Very, very impressed. Okay, hey, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Comment below, let me know. Let me know what you think about this. 
Uh, what are your thoughts? I, I, I enjoyed the shave with it. I really, really did. Um, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other comic strips, other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.